Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Academic Bay. I'm Dr. Muhammad Zubair and you are watching our series on research methods in social sciences. Today I'm going to talk about theoretical framework. As you know, theoretical framework is the backbone of research. So it's very important to understand what is a theoretical framework, what purpose does it serve and how to develop a theoretical framework. So let's start our today's topic. And if you have not subscribed this channel so far, please subscribe. Before I talk about theoretical framework, it seems appropriate to first define a theory as theory is an essential component of the term theoretical framework. So what is a theory? A theory is a tool to explain social or a natural phenomena. It describes the associations between different variables in a given context. It can be used to make predictions. For example, Abraham Maslow's theory of motivation or Herzberg two-factor theory can explain and predict motivation and we can use it for predicting or explaining the motivation of individuals or employees. Similarly, Theories of liberalism or communism can be used to explain and predict the policies of a liberal or a communist state in a given context respectively. On the other hand, a framework. A framework is a structure or a system that holds different parts together. It facilitates the building of something useful. Take the example of a steel skeleton of a multi-story building, it supports and holds the entire building together. In a similar terrain, a theoretical framework is the blueprint of entire dissertation or research project grounded in existing theories. It describes and explains the existing theories that support your research. It is a kind of researcher's lens with which to view the entire world. It is up to researcher and the requirement of his or her research problem to select one or more appropriate theories and make its unique application in his or her research work. Theoretical framework will guide the entire research work of the researcher. It serves as a rationale for the researcher choices during the entire research process. Now, what purpose does a theoretical framework serve? Foremost purpose of theoretical framework is to present and explain the existing theories and models concerning the research problem. So, you evaluate and compare existing theories and make a choice for your own research. You critically evaluate and compare theories in perspective of their origin, basic assumptions, major postulates, strengths and weaknesses of each theories and then select a theory or theories that best align with your research problem. You need to follow the theory that best explains your research problem and your research question. This will prove that your work is grounded in existing research. The second purpose of theoretical framework is that it helps the researcher in developing assumptions about associations between different variables, help in selecting tools for testing and analysis, interpreting the results and making generalizations. Hence, a theoretical framework defines the boundaries of research. Now, how to develop a theoretical framework? You can develop a theoretical framework in three steps. Step one is to identify the key concepts involved in your research. You can identify the key concepts by examining your research problem and research questions. Once you have identified the key concepts, 
Second step is to explain and evaluate the most relevant theories concerning your concepts and then come up with your own definition of these concepts. You establish connections between these concepts and develop assumptions about the possible associations between these concepts. Step 3 is to show how your research resonates with these theories and how you are going to use these ideas in your research. Let me give you an example of developing a theoretical framework. Imagine a researcher working on the impact of political culture on the development of democracy in a developing state. What you need to do is to collect possible relevant theories. For example, political culture theory, cultural modernization theory, conflict theory, cultural determinism theory or a few to mention. Once you collect these theories and evaluate them, all of these theories suggest that one or more of cultural dimension has some role to play in the development of democracy. However, now it's up to the researcher to further deepen his or her understanding of these theories in perspective of their origin, basic assumptions, postulates, their strengths and weaknesses and then select a theory that best aligns with his or her research problem and can facilitate bridging the gap in existing research. I hope you would have understood the basic concept of theoretical framework. However, one of the aspects of the discussion is missing and that is the difference between a theoretical framework and conceptual framework. Our next video will be on that difference in comparison between a theoretical framework and a conceptual framework. Thanks for watching.